Hi guys, so today I thought I'd just talk you through some of my all-time favourite products ever. Uh, when I was making this list I realised that they are all cruelty free and drugstore products which I think is something to be happy about, like you're not going to spend that too much, mo too much money on them. I thought I'd start with base and the first product I'm going to talk about is the Barry M Glomance Primer and if you've watched some of my videos you will know that I adore this. It doesn't really make your, ma make your makeup, make your makeup, make your makeup last any longer. Makes you look really healthy and glowy and like you've drank enough water and it's just brilliant. It smells, it's definitely perfumed but I can't put my finger on what it smells like but it smells quite nice, like it's not a bad smell. And I've got quite a lot of redness in my skin and this really just helps to tone it down a little bit, makes it a little bit less prominent especially when before I put my foundation on so when my foundation is on I don't feel I need to co conceal as much because it's counteracted that redness so I love this I was think beginning to think that it'd been discontinued which would make me really 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 sad because I looked on the Barium website it wasn't there I looked on the Boots website it wasn't there I looked on the Superdrug website it was there but it was sold out so I was like <sighs> and then I went into Boots just to pop in to get some uh, photographs and it was there on the shelf there was three of them so I grabbed one and I was very happy and I bought it straight away another thing I got this my first tube of this at Christmas and I've only just like I've used it every single day and I've only just run out of it that's impressive like that's a solid six months of use and it's only just run out yes not bad at all not bad at all and it's six pound $5.99 from Boots. Fantastic. Can't go wrong. So next is something I doubt anyone's going to be surprised about because everyone uses this. This is the collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer. I don't think there's much more I can say about this that hasn't already been said. It's dirt cheap. It's got great coverage. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Just conceals everything. Lasts a, lot, lasts a nice long time. Cooly free, something like £4.20 for a tube. You might as well go out and get three because you know you're gonna get through them. Right, and right, let's do a sponge. Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I've gone through about 10 of these, I think, because you're supposed to chuck them out after about three months. I use it for everything. I use it for every day. I use it for my foundation. I use it for my cream blush. I use it for my cream bronzer. I use it for my concealer. I just, you get so much wear out of them and they last for, they last for three months and actually that's not bad. When you get them in the multi-packs, you get like four for something like 12 pounds and that's like gonna last you for a good year. Another thing about the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge that I enjoy is the fact that when I apply concealer, especially around this area of my face, I find if I apply it with a brush, it just cakes immediately. When I apply it with a sponge, I think it adds that, especially when it's, the sponge is damp, it adds that little bit extra moisture that just stops everything caking up and getting too heavy, which I think is great, so would recommend to a friend. And they're five pounds, Bob, are they? How much are they? Four th 4.93 off the Real Techniques website. Go into back into focus, please. My next pick is, ooh, I nearly dropped it. <laughs> the Soap and Glory Soil Powder. Uh, I've used this every single day for a good, what, two years now? It's just so good. And this might sound a bit strange, but the, the, the sell by date on it is three years, 36 months. That's just, that's the longest sell by date I've seen on any makeup product ever. So if you're a makeup artist and you have to be, like, for people every day, yeah, fine, it's, no one's gonna arrest you if you don't, if you use a makeup product that's out of date, like, we've all sp forked out a lot of money on foundation and then it's gonna be out of date, but we just kept on using it because, you know, you spend the money on it, you don't wanna waste the product, but when you're a makeup artist and you've gotta keep everything really hygienic and you've gotta look after your model's face, then having a product that lasts for three years, that's just, that's such a good investment. This is £11 and that's quite expensive for a drugstore product. 
and it lasts three years. That's, an, that's a proper investment, that is. And it's just such a good bronzer. It's so good. But as you can see, I've hit pan on mine. I'm not really pale, but I'm definitely not dark. And it looks great. It looks really nice. It's not, and the shimmer's not too chunky, so it doesn't look like you've got a shimmery bronzer on. It just looks like quite fresh. And here's another product with a little bit of shimmer in it, which I really like, which I have also used every day and that hasn't run out yet. And this is the Sleek Pink Lemonade Palette for blush. And yeah, I can't remember when I bought this. I think it was over a year ago. And I haven't felt the need to buy any of the blushes since. Although I did look on the Sleek website today to see how much this was. And I wanted to buy all the palettes. Especially on my skin tone, I do love it, like, a rosy cheek. Are you coming upstairs to say hi? Hello. Hello. Go sit down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Can you go sit down please? Because I need to keep on filming. Thank you baby. You can sit down there if you want. Yeah. Oh. Anywho sleek pink lemonade blush palette. This one is my favourite. I think this one's called Pink Mint. They do have a little bit of shimmer in them, but they've got great pigmentation. This one is a really good dupe from Nars Orgasm because it's got that peachy glow and it's quite shimmery. And £10 for three blushes that I've had for over a year and used pretty much every day and I haven't even hit pan yet. Can't go wrong, bro. Not very wrong. I love sleep makeup. I love their packaging as well. Their packaging is so sturdy. It's just brilliant. Oh, da -da -da -da. Right, this one. I have quite a love, a love, not a love-hate relationship, but there are so many things that I really, really love about this, and one major thing that really, really, really gets on my nerves. This is the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil. And oh, there's a hair in it. Good da -da -da. And it's great, the nib's tiny. You can get some a really precise brow with that. And it's great. I've got through about three of these, I think. The one thing that really drives me up the wall with them though is this. This booty always breaks. Why? Why? <laughs> this is the only thing letting you down. I might just get a spoolie brush and then just quit the agony. Really, really great. It's a nice hard formula, which means it, it goes on really nice and crisp. It stays for ages. I'm a big fan. It's a really great formula. Just get your bloody packaging side. Now we're on to my final. Last but not least. Oh, I've got blush all over me. <laughs> Brilliant, but yeah, I'll carry on. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And these are the three that I have, and I'm definitely gonna get more. I've got Stockholm, Cannes and Antwerp and the formula is so nice and creamy and lovely and it's, it never really feels so too uncomfortable on your lips and it smells like flumps. Oh, I love food related makeup. I love the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because it smells like chocolate. I love these because they smell like marshmallows. Brilliant. They're just, the formula is amazing. The shades are fantastic. They've got such a great range. I think Cans is my favourite. Cans is a really good kind of natural nude for me because it's quite dark. But I really do like Stockholm as well. My friend Lucy got this, and Lucy knows her shit when it comes to makeup. And she got me this for a bit for my birthday, and it was just like I put it on once, and I was like, she's a genius. That Lucy, she knows her shit. They do sometimes. Get a bit patchy but I feel like that only happens when my lips are especially dry and that's my fault for not drinking enough water and not applying lip balm before applying a matte lipstick so you know <laughs> you can solve that by not having chapped lips and you know applying some lip balm before you start your makeup I feel like I want to get because I've never been to any of these countries no, sit countries cities but I would like to get Budapest because I've really like I've been to Budapest I'd like to get Rome I'd like to get London and I feel like that would be really cool this like when you go traveling. 
get a Nick stuff matte lip cream for all the cities that you've been to. I think that would be really cool. But that's just me being a bit sad and wanting an excuse to buy more, more liquid lipsticks. But yeah, can't go wrong. Would definitely recommend to a friend. So nice. So yeah, we've come to the end. I hope you enjoy that video. I hope I didn't ramble too much because I feel like I did a lot of talking then. But yeah, it's all good. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found some products that you would like to use in the future. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.